GIFs are sequence of picture or soundless videos that loop indefinitely without requiring anyone to press play. Since GIFs aren't actually video, we call them animated image. This course is about converting a video in any format to GIF format. A video includes visual information including sounds and high quality frame and has size limit. Whereas GIF is a low quality sequence of frames used to highlight a specific source of information but with no sounds consuming significantly less amount of size. In this course, video conversion to image format is demonstrated in Python programming using MoviePly library. So put on your thinking hats and let's get started with this session on convert video to GIF using Python. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new update or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video for any query or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, into this particular tutorial, you'll be learning about converting the video to GIF. Video can be of any respective sort. You take it MP3, you take it MP4, whatever the video format you want to use, you can use that out. And we'll be converting any video of any format into a GIF format. That's a respective tutorial which is going to be about. So many a times you must be fascinated after seeing up so many GIFs present onto the internet. You must even be thoughting, is thinking about that. How are these GIFs made and how you do up these respective things. So it's pretty much cool that yes, you can do about all of these particular things with the help of Python programming language. So into this particular tutorial of today, I'll be telling you how you can convert a video to GIF format with the help of Python programming language. This is the tutorial about. Now let me take you forward towards the agenda that we are going to follow up for this particular tutorial. So first of all, I'll be taking you through the libraries. I'll be in particular using only one library for the converting of my any of the video format to the GIF format with you. Simple one library is used and that is movie pi library. PY stands for Python and movie is the respective library name. So it's movie pi library. Okay, I'll be first of all letting you know that what is this library about? What are the features that you have in? What is the process for installation? Do we need installation or we do not need installation? Each and everything I'll be covering up here into this movie PY library first of all. Further to the next, I'll be taking you towards a function that we'll be using up into our project. We'll be discussing about the video file clip function. This is one of the function which will help you to convert your GIF. But how will it help and what are the parameters that you have to pass in? And this respective function belongs to which library? What are the features of this? Each and everything we'll be discussing up in detail in the further tutorial. And then I'll be taking you to the demo. That's the practical implementation of our converting any video format to the GIF video format. Okay. So hope I am pretty much clear that what's the agenda for this particular tutorial that we are having up here. So let me take you to the very first topic now and that's movie by library. First of all, we'll be discussing about this in the detail about this particular library. So what is this library about? First of all, so this library was actually developed for the video editing process whenever you want to do up some video editing into that particular case this movie pi library this movie pi python library was developed now what sort of video editing you could do you can 
concatenate any videos you could uh, simply cut a part of that respective video you can insert some title onto the video you can simply do the video processing you can create some custom effects so these are all of the respective things which you can do with the help of this movie pie library okay so now what are the python versions which this respective library uh, actually deals with so your python shall be uh, 2.7 or above than that but the preferable one which i would let you know will be above 3.4 okay so make sure that your python version is above 3.4 and if it is not then upgrade it to a newer version the current version which is there and or either you you do not need know how to upgrade that out so simply you could uninstall python and again install the newest version of python onto your device okay so hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing now whenever you want to do some sort of editing like whenever you want to add up some custom effects whenever you want to do some um, i would say video processing whenever you want to concatenate two videos concatenate means the merge of the videos okay let's say you are having two different different videos and you want to merge them about so that's mentioned up here as concatenation so when you want to do concatenation you want to insert up some title so whatever the simple tasks are there which are related to video editing if you want to do any of those so this movie pie library is one of the ones which is completely preferred in all of these particular cases next one more feature we are having up here of the movie pie library and that feature is only the reason that why we will be using this movie pie library into our practical implementation of this python project so the reason is that this movie pie library also allows you to read and write the most common audio and video formats which includes the gifs as well okay you could read you could write all of these operations you could perform with the help of the movie pie library in all of the video formats and the gif format is as well included so that's the first reason why are we using up this movie pie library into our project of today what's the main task what's the goal of the project that we want to convert any video format mp4 mp3 whatever to the gif format right so on to that particular case what will be my very first step my very first step is going to be that i have to first of all read my complete file which i want to convert right let's say i'm having any mp4 file with me now i have to read out that respective file and i want to can i have to first of all read that out so whenever you want to convert a file into any other file format it's especially not for gia for nothing other than that but it's a simple uh, thing which i'm telling you a common thing that whenever you want to simply convert any file into one format to the other format so on to that particular case the very first step is that you have to read that file okay and movie pie library allows you to read any type of file formats that's the reason that we are using up this movie pie library into our practical implementation of our project for converting the video to gif okay so hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing the reason for using this movie pie library now i did already mentioned up that uh, make sure to have a, a python version greater than 3.4 okay next what's the installation process so for the installation you simple have up a command that's pip install movie py okay i'll be showing you the practical implementation for the installing of the library as well but here for your knowledge i'm letting you know that the command for the installation of this movie pi library is pip install movie pi 
okay so hope i am pretty much clear to you regarding this movie pi library that what what is this what is it especially used for what are the features of this why are we using that into our project of today and the process for installation hope i am pretty much clear with all of these respective things now let me take you to the next topic of our discussion and that the video file clip function okay let me tell you one thing regarding this function that this function is a part of the movie pi library only right a few seconds before we learned about the movie pi library right so this movie pi library this video file clip function is a part of the movie pi library okay so first of all if you have to use this video file clip function so the very first thing you will be that you have to import the movie pi library further you could use up this function according to your sake of easiness okay now i'll be discussing about this so video file clip function allows you to convert the video into any other format let's say you want to convert any mp4 video to gif so video file clip function allows you to do so okay now further i'll be discussing up about the parameters that what's the parameters are to have up here um, for this respective function okay let's discuss about the parameters so first of all you have to the file name so whatever the file name you are having which you want to actually convert into gif so you could put that out we, uh, okay now if you are simply putting up the file name so on to that particular case make sure that you are even mentioning up the extension extension means that what is your file format it's mp3 it's mp4 what is it okay mention that out as well with the file name second is that if you want to put up the path of that particular so yes you can do do so as well you can put up the path of any respective file accordingly so any of the ways works you put up the file path or simply you put up the file name any of the options are going to work for this particular parameter okay next you have has underscore mask now this is actually uh, we said that as true only if you have a mask which is included into your video file okay next you have the audio so we state this audio as false if your clip if your video file doesn't have any audio okay or simply if you do not wish to read the audio so on to that particular case you set up this audio as false okay i would again repeat you set up this audio parameter as false if your video clip which you are having it doesn't has any audio or if you do not wish to read the audio okay into that case you set up this audio as false next you are having up the target resolution so you could put up a frame you could put up the resolution you could put up the desired height and the desired width according to your choice for whatever you want the video clip length and width to be okay you can put that accordingly next you are having the resize algorithm so what are the algorithm is there if you want to resize that out so you could resize but by default the algorithm which is there is by cubic okay so by by cubic is the by default algorithm which is there and next you are having fps source so whenever you want to collect from the metadata so into that case you use this fps source parameter now from these parameters there are two three parameters which is are specially used out first one is your file name second is your audio these two are the ones which are mostly and commonly used when you are using this video file clip function hope i am pretty much clear with this to you now this is a function this is a method so it doesn't need out any of the installation as soon as you install the movie pile library all these the functions automatically comes up and you can use any of the required functions according to your need 
okay so it doesn't need any installation parameters i did already mentioned up to you that what are the parameters and what are the commonly used one so now further i'll be taking you towards my pycharm ide and there will be seeing a, a practical implementation for our project which is convert video to gif so let's get on to my pycharm ide and we, uh, first we'll be learning about the installation further i'll be showing you the practical implementation of our project okay so here we are on to the pycharm ide and further i'll be writing up my code and showing you the import and uh, installation everything onto my yeah. pycharm yeah. ide only okay now this one thing which i want to just refer out to you uh like you can use any of the ides according to your choice you want to use uh, let's say visual studio code you want to use jupyter notebook or uh, you want to use a spider anything you can use according to your choice but my recommendation to you will be that do not use any of the online ides because now into this particular what you should have you should have a video with you of any format which you actually want to convert up into the gif right so that respective video shall be present in the same folder into which your python file is present and inside which you are writing up your project correct so now on to that particular case it's very much important for you to have up a look over these particular things and this particular thing that it can't actually be done on to the online ideas that's the reason i am like suggesting you to use up any of the offline ide according to your sake of convenience okay now what i'll be doing is that uh, i am using pycharm so on to this pycharm only i have the terminal and that i can use of that terminal for the installation of my respective libraries so i'll be going back or going on to this particular terminal here and um, from this terminal what i could do is that i could simply install up the libraries so command for the installing of my movie pi library is pip install movie p y okay this is the command that you have to use out after writing that command hit out the enter now what it will do it will install up this particular library for you it would take up some time depending upon your internet bandwidth and it will do that out but for me the requirement is already satisfied because i have already installed that onto my device so it is showing me requirement already satisfied but if you haven't done that particular thing till now so it will take up some time for you and after some time at last it will show you that successfully installed okay so what i would do is that i would zoom in a little and i would write up the command here as well so that you if you want you could re, uh, like refer that out so pip install movie pi p y one single p and one single y okay p is not gonna be capital everything is in small only okay pretty fine hope i'm pretty much clear with this particular thing to you now further getting down i'll be importing up my library that we installed right away that's movie part okay so i'll be writing up here that from from movie pi dot editor from movie pi dot uh editor i'm going to import up the asterisk what's the first line which i have written what's the meaning of that so movie pi is my library that we all are pretty much aware of right i just did mention of this thing a few minutes before as well that we just installed out this movie pi library now what we are actually willing to do we are actually willing to convert up a mp4 format um video clip onto a gif format video clip right we are doing up this particular thing so now on to that simple case i simply used up this movie pi dot editor as well okay i used up this movie pi dot editor so this movie pi dot editor will actually help me to do up this particular things okay and now when i wrote import asterisk 
so it means that i'm going to import up all of the functions which we have up into this moviepy.editor file okay so when i wrote up here moviepy.editor import asterisk so import asterisk is simply means that from my moviepy.editor library i'll be importing up all of the required functions which i have a present up into this particular library because i need those functions because i now it's it simply a tedious task for you to again and again write import this function or import that function so at one simple go you imported up all of your relevant functions which you are having up here now further you can use out any respective function of your choice here let me get down so now here i'll be making up a variable which is convert underscore video underscore name so what will this variable actually store this variable will store the name of the video clip which you want to convert into GIA. Okay. I will be using up here the MP4 format. Okay. You can prefer any of the uh, any of your choice. So simply I'll be writing up here video file. Okay, that will be a file clip. Okay. Video file clip. This is, will be my respective function name and that function I am actually I have imported it from moviepy.editor library only. So this video file clip I did mention about this function a little bit time to, before to you about this that what is it actually how is it used and what are the things that you're having up here. Okay so video file clip right that's done. Now into the bracket you'll be writing up that particular file name which you want to convert. So I'm having up some mp4 file formats. I want to convert up that mp4 file format. But that particular thing I'll be writing up uh, after the completion of my program. Okay. Now let's get down. Now again I'm going to use up here convert underscore video underscore name. Okay. But here we'll be having write underscore G I F. Okay, right underscore G I F. What is this about? So convert video name. This is respective as your variable. Right. And what's this right underscore G I F? So this right underscore G I F is respectively a function which will help you to write up your MP4 file format into the G I F file format. Okay, this is the use of this particular a write underscore GIF function. So with this, I simply used up this convert video name uh, variable here. The reason is that because this convert video name variable, this is the one which is storing my file, which I want to convert into GIF format, right? Because it is a variable that is a storing that uh, which respective uh, what format of file and which respective file actually i want to convert it into the particular gif format so now on to that particular case you can simply use this out right so um this video clip file function will store the name for your file name for your uh, file format which you want to convert and this right underscore gif will actually store the like it, it will actually convert up the file for you and you have to give up the name according to your choice as well that in what's the name for that respective uh, file in which you want to convert that mp4 to gia format okay so hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing first of all to you that what are these functions about and how do you write up these particular things now further what i'm going to do is that i'm going to write up my video file name which i'm having up now one thing to make sure is that that particular video shall be present into the same folder where your python file is actually stored okay for sure it should be there it should be onto that particular folder i would again repeat it shall be onto that particular folder into which your python file is saved right you shall have the python file in which you're writing the code and your uh, video clips which you want to convert into gif in the similar folder in the same folder okay so hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing to you regarding writing of the program
Now further we'll be going ahead and we'll be writing up the names of our file and further we'll be converting that and checking up the final output of this particular project. Okay, so um, I hope that up till this particular place, I am pretty much clear to you uh, regarding a complete code, whatever we had written up till now, right? Now, what's my last task uh, for this hands-on for this video to GIF project is that I have to put up my uh, video file name and give up a name that in which name I want my GIF file to be created. And then we'll be running out our program and waiting up for some time because it depends that um, what's the duration of that a particular video which you are creating okay it might take out some time if you're using a very big video for converting a video to gif okay it might take out so now what i will be doing up here is that i will be going on to the desktop of um, my laptop okay now here onto the desktop i am having up some few files like, like i hope you are able to see this file and this respective one as well okay let's check out that what's the uh, properties of these files okay so if i go on to the properties see i am having this mp4 file format right now what i would do very first of all is that first of all uh are we copying up these particular files and i'll be putting those onto the location where exactly these are to be now what i just meant out from this particular thing let me tell you so um there's a location into which your python file is saved in which you're writing the project right i i hope that you must have that location with you into which you are writing into the file uh, in which you're writing up your python code and that particular file is saved up at some location some path into your uh, laptop right so uh i have to save up those mp4 files onto the same path where my uh python file is being saved into which i am writing up this code for video to gif conversion okay as in the very starting only i suggested you and i told you to have up a mp4 file format so i hope that up to this particular point you must be pretty much ready with your mp4 files right now let i'll be telling you that how to put this uh, file onto the location and from where to find out the location so let's say this this uh, this lang dot p1 this is my file into which i am writing up my code okay i would click on that and i would do the right click okay now right click i would go and go here onto the copy from here you can just uh, click on copy path and it will let you know exactly that where your file is actually seen okay so you could find it out from here now for me i am already aware that where this particular file of me that is lang.py in which respective uh, window in which respective place is a safe okay so what i would do let me open up that desktop once again uh, let's say first of all i'm gonna convert this video it is a it's a very short video of 26 seconds and that's from great learning itself okay and the video is ai ml trends in 2022 so let's copy this out from here i'm going to copy this out with you and now what i'm going to do i'm going to go on the respective destination so it's windows c for me then it's users it's user and then i'm having pycharm project in the inside that here is my respective destination okay and um, great so i could just do out and minimize out the things a little bit yeah it's pretty fine and i'm going to do control plus v so have a look at this here AI ML trends in 2022. This file has actually came here onto this particular location for me. I'm gonna once again check out the properties. Let me show you about this. Name is AI ML trends in 2022. The type of file format is MP4 file. Okay, and uh, further it is of 26 seconds. So that I would have I will show you gone to details. And from here, you'll be able to know that, okay, the length is of 26 seconds, okay? Right away, I'll be showing you three uh, demonstrations for the particular output. Now, let me first show you what is this actually about and uh, how does this actually particular file looks like. So, it will
yes so this was somewhat the five videos looking i didn't have show you shown you the complete video but yeah this is how this particular file looks like okay it's a very short video from great learning itself so now this one has been done i would do the same thing for my next two videos as well so this ai is done now we'll be uh, doing it for um, most in demand data science carriers in 2022 with the salary okay so let's copy this out video very quickly and i'm going to go on to my respective uh, destination that's windows c and then users here i'm having the users and my pycharm projects and here it is my folder and i'm going to do control plus v once again so see here it came most in demand data science carriers in 2022 with salary let's check the properties for this now so here it goes okay let me bring it out here great so yeah it's again mp4 file name i did already told you most in demand data science carriers in 2022 with salary and uh, details it is of 28 seconds okay i'm gonna click on okay and i could just run this out as well and one show you that what is this and how does this video actually looks out great yeah i hope that you are pretty much uh, aware of this particular video itself that how is it looking and uh, where's my third one i'm having one more that's most uh, in demand digital marketing carriers in 2022 with salary okay this one let's copy that out very quickly once again here and i'm going to take you to the downside into the user and here's my python projects and here's my respective folder and i'm going to paste out the file here so yes here we are having let me open up the properties for this and let's have a look over there so right away so yeah it's again an mp4 file name is most in demand digital marketing carriers in 2022 with salary and here are the details it's of 16 seconds okay great so yes this is, these are all my three videos which i wanted i'm going to go on to the spy channel and now when you're going to check out here you'll be getting all these three videos into the spy charm folder into which my file is getting saved okay so let's check it for m right here you're having most in demand data science carriers most in demand digital marketing carriers and there shall be some ai ml here it is ai ml 20 in 2022 okay great so yeah all of these files have been done what i'm going to do is that first of all i'm going to do the very short one that's in most in demand digital marketing carriers in 2022 with salary okay let's do that out so here into this particular i'm going to put up that particular file name okay i'm going to put up the file name yes see as i simply wrote most uh mo so it's giving me the options i'm going to do it for digital marketing one okay because that's the most shorter video which we are having so we can do so yeah right away here i did put up the name most in demand digital marketing carriers in 2022 with salary dot mp4 okay make sure that you have to put up the uh, file name with the extension as well extension means that like it is dot mp4 so yeah you have to do out the same as well you have to put out dot mp4 okay that's done here inside this write underscore gif function i did told you that into this you're going to write up the name that what will be your gif name into which the above mentioned video will be converted into the gif okay so i am going to do it for gl underscore gif1 my file name okay so into this respective manner you could give up your file name gl underscore gif1 right so hope i'm pretty much clear with that yes dot and what will be the file format file format will be dot gif so i have to mention that also gl underscore gif1 dot gif okay this is how you have to do and yeah that's all over it's the time for running out our project let's click on run here and after that, I would explain you things once again till the time it will take up some time for the conversion. Then I would explain. Okay. So, yes. Here it's actually getting up converted. Okay. It's, it's getting up converted. As soon as it is being converted, actually, it would show you that process uh, executed with this much number of time seconds. Okay. Now, uh, up till that particular time, I could once again give you an overview that what has been done up here up till this particular place. Right so 
as told by the slide deck to you that moviepy library was is actually helping us to do up all of these particular things it helps you to convert up any respective file into any other respective file format let's say here we were converting the mp4 so yes in that particular place mp4 is getting converted onto the gif format great that's what is done up here by the file now just have a look at here what it is doing it started building uh, file gl underscore gif one dot gif okay with image io right and now see it is showing you the percent as well that how much time it's gonna take for converting up your file and how much percent is done and all those particular things it is gonna take up the time right so till the time I, I could explain you that what the things we did do and further we can move with the rest of the things so um here yes i was talking about that what i was being done up here so this this respective file which we are having moves in demand digital marketing carriers with salary that was our mp5 so this moviepy uh, library moviepy.editor which we are having up here into the python programming language that's actually helping me to convert up this particular file into the uh, gif format right so into this we are having some functions and with the help of those particular functions only it is helping me to convert up any of my file formats into my gif file okay so what could be done up here is that i am having up here like um, my mp4 file versus most in demand digital marketing carriers right now that particular file which we were having up here that was an mp4 file i want to i i just first of all wanted that file that video file names to be put it up here so that we get an idea that which is the file which you want to convert right so what i did inside my video file clip function i did wrote up the name with my file command guys make sure that here you are as well writing up your file format because that's the most necessary thing that you have to do if you're not doing that out it might lead you to some uh, wrong output okay so make sure that you are um, actually putting up the uh, file name with the extension so i did so and i saved that particular thing onto our respective variable name. now after getting saved onto that respective variable name what is being done up here is that we are converting with the right underscore gif function we are simply converting this gif this uh, respective one into the gif okay that's pretty much done now what i'm going to do is that uh see here now process finished with exit code zero it means that my file has been converted how do i check that out now so go on to the same location this is my location what was my file name my file name was gl underscore gif1 let me zoom in uh where's that gone right away here right here okay i just let me copy that out let me copy it out uh, let me paste it over my desktop here once great and now it's my file which has been converted i'm going to do out like this and i'm going to go on to the properties for checking that out what's that that's the now type of my file is g i f let me open this out and uh, one second here let me take it out right what's my file name my file name is g i f dot g i f file right so name name for my file is dot gif and the di dimensions are already mentioned it up here now why it is not showing me any duration why it's not showing me out because it's a gif file gif files do not have the duration because they continue they keep on uh, again and again again and again they keep on repeating that out right so that's the reason that right away here my gif file it's not getting up opened up like this uh, I'm sorry, I'm not getting up any duration for my GIF file. So item type is a GIF file, right? Dimensions are the same dimensions which were actually of my respective um, file. Dimensions won't change out. Nothing will change out actually. Okay, nothing will change out. It will remain as it is. Okay, so hope I am pretty much clear with that particular thing to you that um, how is this actually converted up here? right hope i am clear with that particular thing now i will be uh what i'll be doing is that i would go on to that particular destination here where's that file and i'm going to do the double click onto this file 
so right away right so just let me do a one simple let me close this out from here great and now i'll be, i could just actually now when you have to open up this gif file you are going to do the right click and after that you are going to open that out with your respective video file format whatever is uh, available for you at that particular place okay great so yeah hope i am pretty much clear with that particular thing to you uh, for converting this onto a gif file right so whatever the whatever um, respective apps or things are there which support up the gif files uh, and into which you can run up the gif files you could pretty much clear simply convert that into a and run that for a gif file right so hope this pretty much thing is clear to you next what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, change up the name from f5 okay i would change up the name and i would show you one more let's do it for ai slash ml bit okay and here i'm going to keep it the name as two okay and now this time i'm going to run out this particular project so now again it's going to take up some time for the conversion of for uh, this this respective mp4 file to the gif format file it's again going to take up some time for the conversion of this okay so now further let's start that out uh, very quickly here like it will start in a short while the conversion will start up in a short while because it depends on the video length also now this ai ml twins this respective file was of 20 uh, 28 or 26 seconds right so now see it started up the building up of my gif file here right it is started out so now it will take up some time and it will convert this particular file for the gif format here okay it will take up some time and it will simply convert that out so up to that particular point i hope i'm pretty much clear with these all of the things to you that um how are these things done and how do these things actually take place what are the what are the ways where we can actually use this out and how do you simply convert up any respective file format to a gif file okay i, I had just shifted that down because it's actually doing up its particular things great so uh only not mb4 file only but yeah rather than this as well you could use up some more um uh, video formats and according to you according to your convenience you can convert up any respective video format to the gif format so this is how you can make up a project you can do the hands-on for the video to gif now it's not that much difficult right you are having three to four lines of code simply here to be written down nothing more than that right so into that respective case it does up the things into the same respective manner but make sure that you are opening up your files from that respective app or from that respective or software which supports the running up of to the gif files okay because gif we all know that gif first of all your file will run and again it will start running it will start running it will start running it will not stop at that particular place like it doesn't have any ending time right gif file do not have any ending time they keep on running and running and running and running every time whatever the time you are having so make sure that you're opening up the files into a that respective um uh, like software which is act which actually supports up the uh file format of the gif files right so as soon as the respective uh, file format has been converted the same before has been converted to the gif we can check that out onto our respective folder but yeah here only one thing is uh, important and that's key you have to make sure that the file format like video which you're having that video is actually saved onto the same folder where your file is getting saved the file into which you're writing the program this respective file is getting saved at whatever the place in the same place only your video file shall be present otherwise it won't give you the output it will show the location errors okay and yes here i guess my file has been converted yes it has been i would go on to this particular let me close this one okay this has been done and yeah here is my location yeah it's glgif2 and i'm gonna do up this out i'm gonna click on the properties and yes now it's my gif file dot gif okay and here you can change it with the respective um location with which you want to open that out and yeah you could do so accordingly it's not any case right you can open it with anything i'm gonna close this out from here okay and i'm gonna go and click on the details 
So yeah, for the details as well, here it's absolutely same. It's the item type is GIF file. And that's the respective folder where file is and everything is written up here. And dimensions are as well the same, which we did give out, right? Great. So yeah, hope I'm pretty much clear with this particular thing about converting up a GIF file. So you can put converting up an MP4 file to a GIF file. That's how you could do up the things. Right now, let's get on to the summary for this respective video to GIF file conversion Python project. So now it's the time for taking up the summary of whatever we have learned so far into this particular tutorial. So what I'll be doing is that I'll be taking you through the summary. So right here we are having. So let's take up a quick recap of all of the topics which we have discussed so far. Okay, let's do that out. So let me take you to the very first slide here from where we started. We started with the movie by library, right? So we discussed first of all that what is this movie file library? So that's one of the Python libraries which was developed out for the video editing. What sort of video editing you could include up here? So that comes as like cutting, concatenations, um, insertions, video compositing, video processing, creation of custom effects, all of these respective editing techniques you could use here with the movie pi python library okay now next what are the versions of python into which it supports so it supports all the python versions which are above 3.4 okay why are we using this onto our respective project so we are using this because it helps you to read and write all the audio and video formats including gif so now on to that case, first of all, when as you had already seen the practical implementation. So when we just simply uh, like put out our library name, so first of all, sorry, put out our file name. So first of all, it will be reading up that particular file, right? And then only it will be converting that into our respective file format into which we want to do, right? So that's the respective reason we are using up this movie file library. Further, I'll be tell, talking about the video file clip function. So this is a function which is a part of the movie file library only. And into this particular video clip file clip function, it helps you to load up the and to read up the file which you want to convert of any of the file formats, right? So in the example, we took up the MP4 file format, right? So it helps you to do out that particular thing. So the parameters which you are having, you can write up the file name, like what's the name for your file which you want to convert to GIA format or even you could put up the file path as well. Okay, so you could put up the audio as well that uh, does that respective file, the clip which you're having, that respective one is having the audio or not or if you just want to wish to read up the audio or not so into that particular case you could use up this audio next you're having up the target resolution you could put up the frame size uh, height and the width according to your choice then you have the resize algorithm you have the fps source so these are the few parameters which you have up here and you could use them according to your choice into your practical implementation Further with that, we just saw about the demo of the project which was convert the video to GIF format. We did saw the practical implementation. Then we looked over the summary right away we are looking for. And yes, so this is all where we complete out our project for converting video to GIF. Hope you got up the things and hope you could now convert any respective file into any other file format on to your own choice hope i am pretty much clear with these things so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new update or video releases from great learning if you enjoy this video show us some love and like this video knowledge increases by sharing so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues Make sure to comment on the video for any query or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.